Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. We've shown you TriboTex and how well it works when you add it to any engine, but Brian, you're the lead engineer for TriboTex, and you guys say that it's best when you add it to a clean engine. So what's the best way to clean your engine before adding TriboTex? We developed a cleaning solvent that you put in your engine before you change your oil that helps remove resins and old oil gunk that is built up in your engine. And that's it right here, it's yeah. BR1. Um, how does it work uh, and, and what builds up in the engine that you need to clean out in the first place? As your oils get hot and they're surrounded by oxygen and some water from the combustion events, they will start to polymerize and turn into this sludge. You will see it when you change out your oil. It gets thicker, it gets darker, it's goopy. And this stuff can cook onto your engine and prevent the Tribotex nanoparticles from fusing to the clean metal surface. You brought with you a can of spray adhesive, a familiar one. How does that spray adhesive imitate what's inside the engine? This is a petroleum-based resin. This is kind of worst case scenario, what you might find in your engine. Your engine oils try to do their best to protect sludges from forming, but what happens is there will be some oils that will break down and turn into a polymer like this glue. So this is doing a great impression of engine sludge, and we can see how BR1 breaks that down because you brought in this paintbrush and yesterday sprayed it up, and we can see how stiff and rigid that is. So now we're gonna take the BR1 and see how it breaks down this adhesive. Yeah, so this is a concentrated formula. Every single molecule in here is a cleaning agent. It works similar to acetone, but it's very gentle and non-toxic. The stuff stays active. It doesn't evaporate easily. It doesn't run away. It protects the glue from sticking back to itself. It completely surrounds it. These molecules are one nanometer in length and not even a nanometer in width. So much smaller than the glue molecules. In tiny, the tiny molecules. They just completely surround them and prevent them from sticking to each other and loosens them up. The oxygen, you can see it bubbling. Yeah. There's oxygen in this solvent. Well, in the interest of time, we're speeding things up for you, but about two minutes worth of work massaging the BR1 into the brush, and that glue is completely gone now, and the bristles are, are free. You dry that off, and it's going to feel like a makeup brush. How does it work so easily? Yeah, the oxygen in the fuel breaks down those resin bonds, and it looks like an oil, so it surrounds those resins, breaks them up, and prevents them from sticking to each other. So once you put this in your engine, it goes through, you, you recirculate it as you're idling your engine, and it dissolves those resins, and it keeps those resins from building back up and sticking to the side of your engine. They come out when you change your oil, so you'll need to change your oil filter, and you'll need to drain your engine oil. But if you leave this in your engine, it will stay cleaning and eventually will leave through the combustion chambers. Well, Tribotex is the best way to take care of and protect your engine, and BR1 is a great way to get it clean before you do that. You can check out all the technology at Tribotex.com. Time now for the Lowdown with Magic Creeper. All right, weekend warriors, we know you love your Jeep and it looks great going to and from the office every single day. You're the mild-mannered driver dressed nicely heading to the office. Well, what if you have a flat tire? No problem, because you're carrying the Magic Creeper, the most useful tool you could possibly have. If something happens beside the road on the way to or from work, you need to get under the vehicle, you need to change a tire, you roll out the Magic Creeper, or you use it as a knee pad, it's gonna get dirty, you will not. Now, we know you love your Jeeps and you're gonna wanna hit the trail on the weekends, perhaps. Keep the Magic Creeper in mind because you're gonna be able to use it as a fender cover when you're checking fluids underneath the hood. Also checking air pressures around the car. Again, Magic Creeper makes a great knee pad. Once you actually get out into the wilderness, then the Magic Creeper could really come in handy. If something gets under the car, maybe some debris or a branch or something like that gets trapped underneath, roll out the Magic Creeper. The Creeper is gonna roll across any surface, gravel, dirt, twigs, doesn't matter, you're not gonna feel it. You're gonna roll over it nice and smoothly. A regular creeper cannot do that. There's no way you could even fit it in your Jeep and there's no way it's gonna roll over that kind of terrain. Just like on the road, the Magic Creeper is the thing that gets dirty, you will not. So you don't have to worry about all that mud and everything getting on your clothes and getting you all messed up and ruining your weekend. Now it may seem like such a little detail, but when you really need it, that's when you're really gonna appreciate the Magic Creeper. Check them out on their website at magiccreeper.com. It's the only place you can get the authentic Magic Creeper. 
Do not leave that comfy seat because Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings returns right after this.